This year's Holocaust Memorial Day on the 27th of January marks 75 years since the liberation of the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp. At Landmark Arts Centre in Teddington, a free exhibition, 75 Memorials, is commemorating the anniversary with a showcase of art and poems from local artists and school pupils. I had a look around with Witten councillor Jo Humphreys, who is herself Jewish, and who masterminded the exhibition as part of a whole programme of events in the borough of Richmond. When I was elected in 2018, um, the borough wasn't doing anything to mark Holocaust Memorial Day, and I felt that it was very important to do so. Especially as an area that has a small Jewish community, it's almost more important to make sure that we, we raise awareness. We wanted to have every element of the arts represented, so theatre, music, literature, film, and this is the visual arts uh, element of it. And we just put an appeal out to anyone who worked, lived, or studied in the borough, and asked them to submit work based on on memories of the Holocaust, but also the theme of Stand Together, which is the 2020 theme of the Holocaust Memorial Day Trust. We started off with submissions from lots of the schools and lots of our young people in the borough, which is incredibly important because one of the, the major things that we try to achieve through Holocaust Memorial Day is to pass from generation to generation the stories of the Holocaust so that it's never forgotten. We also have submissions from individuals, residents who live in the borough, um, but also professional artists as well. Um, and delighted to see that some artists have actually created things specifically for this exhibition which uh, is a great testament to the importance of the exhibition. It's been a very good re reaction in particular a lot of the feedback has been the poems that have come from our, our secondary school pupils, what insight that they have into what happened and their interpretation of it. It's, it's astonishing it really is. There is a, a piece that was coordinated by one of our schools um, where they wanted us to start remembering that this is about people and not just numbers. You can talk about one million or six million and you forget that these are individual lives. And so what they did was that they asked students to go and research 75 individuals who were deported to Auschwitz to find out a little bit about them and to remember them because there were whole generations, whole families wiped out and there's no one left to remember them. And they created this incredible work where you've got this, this collage of these 75 people looking out at you and you, that's when you remember that these are individual human beings that we are talking about. Some of the pieces in the exhibition tell powerful stories from the families of Richmond residents themselves. This collage tells the story of how 41 members of its creator's Dutch family were murdered in the Holocaust. But there are other reasons why the themes of the exhibition could feel close to home in 2020. I think sadly, things are going in the wrong direction in this country. The fact that anti-Semitism was a major talking point in the general election in 2019 is, is, is shocking. Um, that the fact that there has been a significant rise in anti-Semitic uh, crimes, hate crimes, um, but also not just anti-Semitism, but racism in general. And as recently as, as December 2019, anti-Semitic um, graffiti painted out, you know, on shops and buildings in Hampstead in North London. You know, how how is this happening in 2019 and now 2020? And these are warning signs. You know, the Holocaust didn't start with the gas chambers. It started with intolerance. It started um, with racial hatred. It started with not accepting that people had a place in our society just because they were different. There was a, a survey that was done in 2019 by the Holocaust Memorial Day Trust that sadly revealed that 5% of adult population in this country think the Holocaust never happened and a further 8% think it was exaggerated. Um, so it's important for all generations to learn but most of all our young generation because they're going to be our decision makers of the future and we know from subsequent genocides in places like Cambodia and Bosnia and Darfur and Rwanda that we haven't learned the lessons of the past and hopefully our young people through projects like this will learn from what's happened in the past.